Hello again. For those who don't know me, I'm Steph Clarkson and I'm a sleep specialist and lifestyle mentor. Now I've got a bit of a treat for you today. This is a sneak preview lecture from my course, the eight week natural sleep strategy. And that's an eight week, eight module course that really looks at your sleep in detail and takes you through step by step to overhaul your lifestyle, understanding the science of sleep, looking at the space that you sleep in, and finally looking at your daily habits that kind of contribute to that sleeplessness. So I'll tell you a little bit more about that at the end and where to find that, but let's get jumped in. I really hope that you enjoy this and you take something away to help you get to sleep tonight. If you've done any reading or research on sleep, you're likely to have come across the idea of a circadian rhythm. And this really is one of two ways that our body knows when it's time to be sleepy and when it's time for wakefulness. So let's start discussing these in the night time. So during the night, sleep operates in cycles of about 90 minutes. And each of those 90 minute cycles has four distinct parts, which we'll go through later. We have several of these cycles per night. But what I'd really like you to take away with you is the idea of the circa part of circadian, that this is a circle, this is the whole day, the whole 24 hours, the rhythm of the day and the rhythm of the night, because the circadian rhythm works in the daytime too. Our body clock, and that's a nice way to think of it, has natural times of high and low energy throughout the day. So you might be familiar with the idea of a post-lunch slump. Did you know that that's a natural time for the body to take some rest and recuperation time? Our rhythm tells us when to wake, rest, sleep, be active and alert, and to wind down. And the beauty of the circadian rhythm is that it responds to the natural world to tell our bodies what time of day it is. So we use cues such as daylight and sunset digestion even, to help the body stay in sync with the natural world around it. So here's just an example of some of the key changes, if you like, that the circadian rhythm causes. We have lower or higher body temperature, rises in blood pressure, melatonin secretion, which is the chemical that keeps us sleeping. And when you get to know this cycle for yourself, it's really interesting to plan your activities according to your daily cycle. Now, some of this might be slightly different from one another, and we'll talk later about night owls and morning larks. But it's quite interesting to start to familiarise yourself with how your energy ebbs and flows throughout the day. So this experience that I'm taking you through here is absolutely about the 24 hour cycle and getting the body into a state of equilibrium generally throughout the day and throughout the night. Now something I love to talk about is the fact that technology has evolved so much faster than human nature and human being. And although we're capable of taking on more information and are more intellectually evolved, actually physically we still respond um, in a way that our ancestors did to the wider world. And if you think it's been less than a hundred years since the average American home had electric lighting in it, and less than 30 years since the internet has become a household staple, you can just see that compared with the hundreds if not thousands of years that evolution takes, these are really quick, fast changes. And it's my belief and a lot of others that actually the human condition just hasn't caught up with the demands on us. So something that can really help your body get back into equilibrium is to take it back into nature, to the natural environment that man evolved within. So natural cues can be things just like fresh air, sunlight, having foods that are raw and similar from nature and don't have additives like caffeine and sugars in them. If you're not able to get out and make those changes, just to support the natural cycle, so regular wake up times, waking up as often as you can with the sunrise, keeping your eating times regular, getting into the fresh air for as much time as you can. Because the body likes and takes cues from nature, the more we can connect with nature, the more sense of equilibrium and balance there will be. Now some key circadian moments for this experience are listed here. The 90 minutes after wake up is so important to get your mindset right for the rest of the day. 
we need to come into the world gently. And so some really low level, low stimulating activities are perfect for the morning. Listening to the radio, maybe reading the newspaper, doing a few chores are all great just to gradually warm the mind up as you would warm a body up, for example, when doing a workout. The midday rest. We're going to talk about how resting is so important in regular intervals and gives the brain pit stops really to work through things. And 90 minutes before bed. Again, a real wind down time, just as in the same as exercise, getting the body gently slower, gently relaxing more into the idea of restfulness. And again, this is another time where you can start to offload some of that thinking so your brain doesn't have as much processing to do that can keep you awake at night or keep you awake if you wake up in the middle of the night with those repetitive thoughts that you may experience. So the key takeaways is our natural rhythms are 24 hours. We all have natural peaks and troughs of energy and alertness. And the more you can get out into nature and start re-establishing yourself in the natural cycle of things in the natural world, the better you are likely to feel. And if you liked this video and would like more, please do subscribe on any video and there at the main channel site. And I'd love to invite you to explore the natural sleep strategy, an eight module, eight week course with lots of video, workbook, audio to help you deep dive into your sleep and get better consistent sleep. And if you'd like to try out the course completely free of charge, then you can head over to stepclarkson.com right now and use the code on the screen to access the Mindfulness for Sleep Masterclass. Now this class is one of the eight modules from the course and will give you a really good flavour and sense of what to expect. So that's all from me today and you know where I am if you ever want to improve your sleep, your lifestyle, your thinking style and get some useful life hacks. Have a great day and I'll see you next time.